everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It's time for some more NCAA 14. We've got Coach Dunbar Snack Bar. UAB, we've got one game left to go. We've got Southern Miss before we go ahead and make it to the conference championship, which I'm basically locked in to participate in that. The question is, who am I going to be facing? I'm still undefeated. So... I don't know. I mean, you could throw anybody at me right now, and I'd feel pretty confident. I mean, I know earlier I'd mentioned, yeah, I beat LSU. But LSU is 1-11 right now. So maybe that's not something that I should be, like, sitting here being too excited about because a lot of other teams were able to beat LSU too. That was crazy. I was not expecting that to happen. Ugh. Anyway, but then when we get to the offseason, who knows? I don't know if I'll be staying with UAB or if anybody else is going to want to go ahead and have me as the coach of their team. I don't know if I'm going to stay as offensive coordinator or if I'm going to go head coach. It all depends, I guess, on what's offered to me. But anyway, Southern Miss starting it off here, getting three points. Defense, we got to hold. All right, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll be able to get seven points and come out of this one here with the lead. All right, so a good pass right there that sets up second and six. Brown, who's got more yards passing than anybody else in college football right now, deciding to scramble, only picks up one. Man, not cool. I mean, the reason why I pass all the time, and I know I've mentioned this in other videos too, is because, well, I really don't have that great of a running game with UAB. But I'm patient. Davis not able to hold on to it too. He broke a record in the last Coach Dunbar snack bar video for having the most receptions in a game. Drops that one. So now I have to go ahead and settle for a field goal myself. So well, that one, it is good. Game is tied at three. All right, now we got to go with a quick pass along the right side to Davis. Usually doesn't do that. Usually doesn't stop to make the catch. I mean, usually he's still moving, but I'm still able to pick up five yards. And honestly, if he hadn't fought for that, he probably would have only been able to pick up one or two. Backman getting knocked out of bounds. Nine-yard pickup right there. Now we're going to be going with a deep pass. We're really going to test Southern Miss right now. And it looks like that was the right time to test him, too, as Smith makes the catch for a 28-yard pickup. Now we're going to be going with something back a little bit shorter. I don't want to go ahead and use four verticals a lot. Oh, man. Because if I go ahead and I start using that play over and over and over again, then Southern Miss is going to go ahead and adapt to it. And the time that I really do need a deep pass, well, I'm not going to have an advantage at all. Here's Brown running, and why did I dive? Man, I was trying to slide right there, but had I not, I might have been able to get a touchdown on the ground. That was like the worst time ever for me to dive. <sighs> anyway, second and one now. Going with a little slants play. Reeves with the catch. He's going to get to the four-yard line right there. It's going to set up first and goal for UAB. 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. I'm gonna be looking for my fullback. Dang it. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if Davis can go ahead and, and catch this one. There we go. Accurate throw, a good catch. Now the thing is, is with UAB, even though I've been able to go ahead and establish a pretty great offensive scheme with them that works. Oh, Brown just broke another record. Um, There is still a lot of issues. I mean, Brown doesn't have the best accuracy. You guys have seen people dropping passes. I mean, and I've gone ahead and I've spent some things as the offensive coordinator to go ahead and try and improve that, but it's not 100%. Brown throwing deep. That one's going to get swatted. Man. All right, third and 15. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Going with the four verticals play when I need it. So... Williams with the catch on the left side. Big reception for us right here. Not just because of how many yards that we've gained, but because of what this sets up for us. Now, here we are at the 45-yard line. Davis not able to hold on to that one, but that keeps us alive, and it gives us the opportunity to go ahead and get a touchdown and really start building some good momentum here. So Reeves juking. Wow, he totally plowed him over, too. That was awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. Rare running play. Almost got away from him, too. Eight-yard pickup on a run that was designed to go in the opposite direction. All right, we got to see what just 
opens up right here. There we go. Reeves, I thought, was the best man to go to. Contact forces that one loose. All right. 4.50 to go. Davis with the catch. Gets the first down. We're doing all right still. We're ranked second in the country. If you haven't noticed that, UAB ranked second? Dang. That's been a huge surprise for me. Number one team, Ohio State. So if I win this and I win the conference championship, then I'm facing Ohio State in the national championship. That's crazy. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to win that one. I'm sure my, my defense is going to be so overwhelmed. But I don't know. I thought that against LSU. Anyway, first and goal now. Going to be running the ball again. Going to be running a little audible. Decide not to go straight over to the side, and that was a, a smart thing. Shouldn't turn that one into a stretch. So we get the touchdown to make it 17 to three. Now, Southern Miss. Wow, my defense is stopping them. That's what I like to see. But if we can keep doing this, we've got this one in the bag. Now, I think I can, of course, go ahead and get another touchdown before we reach halftime. I don't think that's outside of the realm of possibility here. Okay, so we've got some options. Davis again. Fullback usually is open on that play, which is why I go with it quite a bit. Uh, there's a few plays that I go with. I've noticed that in some of the other modes that I play, I have a pretty wide array of plays that I go with, but here in the Coach Dunbar snack bar mode, I don't know, I stick with just a handful. They work. There you go, waiting for Davis. Drops it again. The reason why he got uh, most receptions for my team, of course, South and I throw to him. Scott on the left side makes the catch, but not enough for the first down. Picks up three, fourth and two, and again, I got to settle for a field goal. So, 157. There we go. The tight. Had the three points. 20 to three. And here we go. The beginning of the second half. Four verticals. Scott with the catch. Now with that, I've got a lot of, of players I can go to. Here, I'm going to be going with it again. Um, a lot of times, you'll find something up the middle with X. A lot of times, triangle too, like right there. Scott, keeping his feet in, just drags him. His momentum pulls him out of bounds. 2010, I didn't notice that Southern Miss got the touchdown. So a 10-point game really changes my outlook on things. I wasn't, well, I was thinking, I'm like, all right, this one's in the bag. No problem at all. But now not so much. 10 points. I've definitely seen the computer come back from that one. So lucky that one did not get intercepted. Okay, third and 10. Got to play a little bit smarter. Now, there we go. Ah, Davis. That's a different Davis. Oh, well. At least Southern Miss doesn't get some more points. All right, sack. Well-timed one, too. All right, that's going to go ahead and just destroy this drive for me unless I can go ahead and get a good pass. So there I go, taking a look, finding Smith. Drops it again. Most of the incompletions I've had haven't been because of Brown. There we go. You leave Smith open like that, he'll have to make the catch. That one, I'd, I would have been livid if he did not have caught that one. That's just one of those ones you're like, from, from a kid, you learned how to make a catch like that when you're that wide open. There's nothing to make you miss. All right, here we go again in a bad situation. Second and 13, Brown, nothing opening up. Until I find Scott open, and I really got hit right there, too, as I made that throw. That's, that's a clutch, clutch pass. A lot of heroics there. So this time I'm scrambling. And I'm going to run out of bounds. I almost got tackled from behind, too. I'm glad that I didn't. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. Here we go with a little screen. Doesn't work. I actually lose a yard. Okay. Go back with old trusty here. Less than three minutes to go in the third quarter, and there we go to Davis. Doesn't get across the line. Looks like he missed it by just half a yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it to Davis. 
instead of getting the touchdown by receiving a catch, this time he just runs it straight forward. I'm sure they weren't expecting that at all. All right, 27-10, still in the third quarter, still rocking it. Brown rolling out, misses a tackle, only picks up three yards. That was a lot of running for only three yards. Whew. Okay. So, computer yet to pick up on this one. I think it's because Davis has dropped the ball quite a bit too. But a lot of the other receivers, they get covered pretty well on this. I'm not liking, liking this play, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Brown, come on, you got to get some blocks. Now, he's going to pick up eight yards. And I think this is why I wasn't feeling good about it. Because now he's injured. So we've got Perry in my backup quarterback. I think it was also because earlier when I chose to go ahead and run the ball, I did that dive. I'm like, no, I'm not going to dive anymore. What am I thinking? That was a huge mistake. All right, third and four, Perry getting it to Williams. Can't hold on to it. So I'm definitely missing out on my quarterback. That's okay. Fourth quarter, 27-17. Southern Miss really fighting back in this one. I haven't been able to get anything going in the third quarter. And that, for me, is something that's been going on for a long time now. Third quarter is definitely my worst quarter. Ooh. Did you guys notice that fumble? We almost lost that one. And Southern Miss would have had great field position. All right. So there we go. We get it to Nelson. Probably the best play I've had here since Perry has been in. So I am letting the clock run down a little bit here. I know it's kind of early to be able to do this. But, you know, when I look at where I'm at here on the field and realize I can get an easy field goal to make it 30-17, I'm feeling a lot better about how much they'd be able to get. Oh, get through everybody. Reeves, probably with the best touchdown run we have seen him have all season long. And it was only a 25-yard pickup, too. I really can't think of too many other times where Reeves has been able to get some big runs. But 34-17, we're going to go ahead and kneel the ball here. For the last play of the game. I figured you guys didn't need to see everything else. But a big win here for UAB. This is going to go ahead and get us into the conference championship. Remaining undefeated. So we'll see how that ends up going. Defense again. The real winners in this one. Holding them to 17 points. Alright, so thanks for watching you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of Coach Dunbar Snack Bar to come later on. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again for watching. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.